Hey man, what's going on, man? Welcome back to my channel. Good job, son. Good job, son. Let them know. That's my son. Anyways, look, we back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are doing a tutorial on how to install a steering wheel to 5M. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, it changes the way the game is, man. I'm telling you, it's a different experience. You got to try it. If you don't have a steering wheel, go out and buy one. It's worth it. Um, uh, you can scoop one of these things from Best Buy, Amazon, B&H Photo, Zibit. I mean, it's so many different things, man. You can grab one of these things from. Um, shifter is coming soon. You got to get a shifter. But this video is going to be short, sweet, to the point. You don't have to scroll through it or nothing like that for the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is open your internet browser. And what you need to type inside your internet browser is GTA 5 mods.com. Now, to be specific on that, it's GTA 5 mods.com. That's what you need to go to. All right. This site is going to pop up. This nice, beautiful old site with a whole bunch of free stuff. Um, you go over here to the far right corner. If you're not logged in, you don't have to log in. It's just a simple site. Hit the uh, magnifying glass over here. I was already typing something. And then what you want to simply uh, search for is manual transmission. That's the entire name, but all you have to type in is manual. I don't know why my caps are on, but you type manual. And then bam, manual Samuel. There you go. Manual transmission has popped up. It's the first thing. It should be the first thing that pops up. If you don't see it, go back and make sure you typed it correctly and uh, click on that. You should see manual transmission slash stern wheel support 5-5-1. I don't know why I said dash at this point. Anyways, you click on that uh, download button, get the latest version. The latest version, I believe, is August 16th, 2022. Uh, let that download. We got it downloaded. We can click it and open it. All right, we're gonna uh, minimize our uh, uh, internet browser. We're gonna keep this open right here. So what you need to do is open 5M afterwards. After you download it, go to your download folder. It should be in download folder. I'm gonna show you my download folder and downloads. I downloaded it twice to show you guys. But it's there, same thing, blah, blah, blah. All right, I closed that. Get out of that. All right, we're back to uh, the download that we just downloaded. What you need to do is go to your 5M. Do not double click it yet. Don't double di uh, double click it. You go ahead and right click, hit open file location. Then we go to 5M application data. And we go down here to plugins. And you double click that son of a gun. And then we're going to uh, drag the window down. For some people, you can drag it either to the left or the right. You should see a, a, a invisible square pop up on your screen for most updated computers. Uh, you drop it when you see that invisible uh, square, and you can do that like that. Then you come over here and click your your, uh, your downloaded file, a zip file or a raw file, whatever one it downloads on your computer. You get. So go ahead, and click gears and manual transmission oh matter of fact some people might not be doing this right i'm taking my other finger over here outside of my mouse not the finger that i'm using with my mouse i'm using my extra finger put your finger on control on your keyboard control bottom left key control put your finger on control and then click keep your finger on control and click manual transmission and click gears asi it'll select both of them then you can take your finger off control you drag both of those things over here to plug in you let it go click in the open space make sure those bad boys are in there we go back over here to the zip or the rar exit out of that all right so you should be dropping your uh, modded file or your plugin into 5M, 5M application data, and then inside the plugin folder, not inside your mod folder. All right, exit out of that. That's what we do. We fire this bad boy up. 
And on top of that, let me make sure uh, you know this, that the server that you are in must have script hook allowed. Script hook must be allowed for this to work. So in order for this to work, you must have, let's see, let me show you guys. Uh, we're going to type it up. We're going to type this up on a notepad, man. We're going to hit connect. You already guys can see the server. That's what we in. Um, da, 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 da. Let me show you guys what this thing is supposed to say. Ba, 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 ba. Zoom. All right. All right. I grabbed mine for you guys so you guys can see it. All right. Now, this right here is what? This right here is what is supposed to be in the server CFG, all right? In the server CFG, whoever runs the server or whatever like that, if your manual transmission does not pop up, it's because this right here, this line right here is not in the server CFG file. Tell the server owner to add this to the CFG file if you want your stern wheel to work in the server. I don't know how many times I can say that clear like that, but it's not going to work unless you have this in the server CFG file. So tell the server owner to add that line and type it exactly like that in the server CFG file. All right, and it'll work. We're going to exit out of that. We don't need it. Um, I'll put that in the description so you guys can uh, already have that, uh, you know, up and ready. You can just copy and paste it. You know what I'm saying? It, you won't have to type it in or nothing like that. Um, let me see. I'll also put a link in the description for the mod uh, that we downloaded from GTA 5 Mods. All right, so let's go ahead and click a location. Let's just hop in here, man, so you guys can see. All right, I'm moving with my keyboard. Just letting you guys know, moving with my keyboard, blah, blah, blah. It still works. I can move with my controller. Everything still works. And uh, then you can go in and actually change it and add in a secondary key bind for your steering wheel settings. It's very good, man. It's cool. So everything still works. As soon as you get in the car, you can start driving. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very very right then and there you don't have to wait for nothing um let me get out of the street right here before i get hit first thing you want to do is on your keyboard locate the letter p p as in uh paula p as in paul p as in pill p as in pizza uh that p all right p as in pushing p you know what i'm saying all right, locate the letter P, and then one key to the right. One key to the right should be a uh, parentheses or a barrier. Press that. When you press that, manual transmission is going to pop up. Uh, what you want to do, if you have a stick shift, leave enable man manual transmission on. If you have a stick shift, leave that sucker on, man, so it works. If you don't, like me, I don't have one yet, you turn enable man your transmission off man i can't get my words out uh we go down here to gearbox change the gearbox to automatic all right because i don't have a stick shift if you have a stick shift you can put it on sequential or h pattern h pattern means if you are going basically uh one two three four five six seven eight do you get what i'm saying and then one of those is reverse that's a that's a h pattern um but we're going to be on automatic uh, i tried to move my hand in the motion so you guys know uh man we don't have manual control all this stuff all right we got it on we got it on active input oh let's go to controls controls we can go to wheels and pedals. It located uh, what I have. Enable is on. 
Alright, it says device is not found, but it found it. Don't don't ignore that part at the top where it says disconnect. Ignore that. Uh, as long as you know you got it plugged in right, you're good. Uh, let's see. Uh, Alright. So, what you want to do is from the, from the main menu inside manual transmission, go to controls. Get you guys right. Go to scroll down twice to go to wheels and pedals. Then go to analog input setup. So you can set up, you know, so your game can know exactly what you're trying to do. So now, we're going to hit the throttle. Click the button. I press the button. I, I press my throttle. Uh, uh, my, my gas pedal. I just press my gas pedal. Configure the brake. Slide over. I just hit the brake. You get what I'm saying? Uh, clutch. I don't have to worry about steering. I turn the steering wheel. As you can see, when I turn the steering wheel, see the numbers are changing. It's already caught on, man. It's already there. We good. All right. Straighten that back up. All right, handbrake. That's if you have a handbrake. If you're sitting in a cockpit or if you're sitting in a, in a actual gaming setup, man, you're good. It already has the handbrake. I didn't even know that. I knew I had the clutch and the uh, steering uh, and the uh, gear shift, but uh, all right. You can mess with your dead zone. If you feel like a little bit of stuff is off, your brake is off. Uh, you can mess with all that stuff. Me, I'm not gonna mess with any of that stuff. I didn't touch any of that. Of course, I might go back and learn it. Uh, if you have, uh, you could turn on your R, your, your LEDs, your RPMs on your steering wheel. If your steering wheel is the the blue version, I believe if you have like the Logitech G. Hold on, let me get the let me get it right. If you have the G29 or the G, I can't remember the names, man. The G29, the G23, the G923, something like that. But if you have the the the, the Logitech system that's made for consoles, so your ring right here will be blue, and you will have like blue features on your steering wheel, that still works. It works. All of them work, man. Even though they say they work for uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox, they all work. Trust me. Uh, make sure that USB is in. If you have the RPM lights on the top of your steering wheel, you will click this on and your RPM lights will work on your steering wheel. Uh, other than that, if you want to turn off your steering wheel, if you want to, don't worry about it, but keep your settings in there. You just click off enable wheel. That's all you have to do, man. Uh, if you want to disconnect it or, you know, keep from somebody else from touching it or whatever you want to do. I don't know. Other than that. Everything is pretty much uh, self-explanatory when you just read it. You shift it for automatic. Yeah, you can. Cool. They got pedal shifters. They work. You can set up all the buttons. Uh, vehicle specific. Certain vehicles. Oh, that's nice. A whole bunch of stuff, man. We're not going to touch that. We're going to go ahead and uh, hop in the car so you guys can see. Pretty fair weather out right here. Come on, bro. Hurry up, man. Alright, I was using my keyboard to uh, get into the car, uh, keyboard still works, so if I sit right here in the, behind the wheel, let's see, I press the pedal, see the pedal on the left side, it won't start the car, if you press the pedal it won't start the car, alright, but you can turn the wheel, and you can see the wheel turning, see, the wheel is turning, alright, Smooth wheel turning, it's cool. All right, and press the brake. The brake sensitive. All right. You can see how much I'm actually pressing the gas. We're gonna start the car like normal. Turn the wheel. We're gonna slowly accelerate. See me slightly pressing the gas. Yeah, man, it works, man. Press a little bit more. Drive a little more. A little faster, a little faster. But it's very smooth, man. Of course, you can punch it if you want to. I prefer not to. To punch it, you'll lose control like crazy. You know what I'm saying? Let's go over here by the Staples Center. Oh, 
Whoa. Whoa. See what I'm saying? I lost it. That was my fault. Alright. Gotta stay the same, man. Still works like a charm. Uh, the wheel tightens up as the faster you go. Let me uh get that fours of feel. Yeah, like that. But uh wheel works great, man. Uh if you wanna move your menu or how you had it sitting. How you have the menu sitting uh, on your screen, you can uh, hit the gas and do a donut. Woo! You know what I'm saying? You just gotta know your car, man. You got enough power. Woo. And uh, you can do burnouts. Uh, let me see, let me show you. Foot and foot got to be on the brake and the gas. So roll in, stop, foot on the brake, the gas. <laughs> Burnout. <laughs> it looks a little bit different, but you know what I'm saying. It works. And then you let off the brake. And of course it... <laughs> oh man, that's fun though. You can't be mad. I'm in a Hellcat. What do you expect? Whoa. Alright man, I'm I'm doing bad driving in this thing, but uh you, you guys get the point. Uh thank you so much for watching the video. Uh, I hope I help a lot of you guys. <laughs> I hope I helped a lot of you guys, man. Uh, tune into the channel, more videos, man. I know I'll be a little slow with some of my uploads, man, but uh, I got kids. I uh, love you guys, man. Thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Like, comment, subscribe under this tutorial video if you want to. Uh, other than that, man, I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace out.